Now, um, what I'm asking you to do next with these numbers is um, place a solid dot on the number line to represent each of the numbers and label the dot with its number above. So I, I assume you've tried that on the Nearpod slide before you went to this video. If not, go back and try it on your own. Uh, we agreed that negative, well, there, these are this is the order we agreed on earlier. So negative three is just negative three, negative one and one half. Since that's not shown on the number line, I'll label that. Negative two ninths, I mean negative 4.5 ninths would be right in the middle, so it's a little bit less than a fourth even. Negative two ninths would be right there. We're putting a solid dot to represent each number because that's how you graph a location on a number line. That'll be important for what we're about to do. Square root of three we agreed was around 1.7. So I'm gonna put a solid dot there. Pi we know is around 3.14. Two squared is four, and four and a fourth would be very close. All right, the reason we put these on a number line is because now we're going to talk about inequalities, and this is about well, a little less than half of what we're doing in this unit is understanding inequalities. These four symbols are given by your book as inequalities, but they forgot a very important one, this one. That's also an inequality. So. I would like you to write, um, you know, it's interesting. I, I'm assuming you, on the last Nearpod slide, I'm assuming you saw all of this. And so maybe you've tried this on your own already. Yeah, you would have. Okay, I still think it makes sense. Okay, here's what I mean. If I were to write an inequality using some of these numbers that we plotted and one of these symbols, here's one. Negative 3 is less than the square root of 3. Negative 3 is to the left of the square root of 3 on the number line, so it's less than the square root of 3. But this might surprise you. Negative 3 is also less than or equal to the square root of 3. This always confuses students because they say that's not true because it's not equal to the square root of 3. Well, let's listen to what this is saying. Negative 3 is less than or equal to the square root of 3. Is negative 3 less than the square root of 3? Yes. Is it equal to the square root of 3? No. Is it less than or equal? Yes, yeah, less than. It doesn't have to be both. Or means either or. And so when you see less than or equal to, only one of them has to be true for the whole thing to be true. And you might think, well, why would you even do that? Um, you wouldn't with numeric values, but you might with a variable. Like you might say x is less than or equal to 2 squared, which means the value of x could be any number less than 4 or 4, all the way up to and including 4. And so if you haven't tried to write a few of these, you should try to write some. You could pick any two of these, like you could say pi is not equal to negative 2 ninths. There's an inequality. Any comparison where they're not equal, you're either going to have less than, greater, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, or not equal to. Those are inequalities.